Kumu relationship clustering, a template for many occasions. As I indicated in the musing, I have lost track of the number of times people have asked me how to, how to set this up. And it happens so infrequently that every time they ask, I have to go figure it out again. So this time I decided that after I figure it out, I'm actually going to create a template so I don't have to go figure it out again. And if somebody wants to do it, I can just send them a link to the to the to the musing. So in this particular instance, the way the template is set up, it's set up for three types of elements. It's set up for organizations, projects, and people. And the idea is that organizations can sponsor one or more projects and projects can have one or more people working on them and people can be associated with one or more organization. Now I used the default definition for organizations. I didn't add any fields because I felt that when somebody wants to use this in a particular instance, they'll figure out what other pieces of information they want associated with the organization projects and, and people. But for projects, I had to go ahead and, and create a element or a variable called org so that one can assign multiple organizations that this project is sponsored by. See, the thing is, <clears throat> rather than in organizations defining what projects it's supporting, you actually put it together backwards. So you identify the organizations in the project, you identify the organizations that are supporting it. <clears throat> and within people, you identify the organizations that the people are part of and the projects that they're working on. So you can identify a person as part of or related to multiple organizations and working on multiple projects. And it's set up within the view so that if you come down here to the bottom and click on org, it will tell you which projects and people are related to the organizations. And if you click on project, it will tell you which people are related to the projects. So for a, any particular use of this, it's probably or likely to be not be organizations, projects, and people that someone wants to keep track of to update the, the template to be usable in, in different situations. One only needs to change a few things. If you go into the view, you need to change the definite, what, what the th elements are that you're keeping track of so they show up in the legend. You need to change the, the types down here so it searches for the right ones and makes them the right color. And then you have to go to, to fields and you change the element types to the things that you are tracking. And then you change org and project to whatever it is that they are in your particular instance. So you end up with, with sort of a template that makes it easy to set up and you could add two or three or four more different types of elements in here, and it would work just as well. And when you do add them, it will go ahead and add the additional pieces across the bottom. So uh, hope you find this of some interest and utility. Oh, and by the way, when I did this, it also sorted out so that the, the musings, the musings, musings thing was updated so that the clustering is now down here on the bottom, as opposed to on a uh, another view, which makes it all in one place, so that you can search by um, cluster, select this, and do a focus and what it's related to and what those are related to, as opposed to having to go to some other view someplace. So. Um, take care. I'll see you in another musing soon. Bye.